Hello there. I hope you're fine and in good health. I also hope that you're hopeful because when we wake and we have life and we see the sunshine and some of us can look out at mountains and even oceans, those are simple, free things that bring joy to so many. There are other things that bring joy to so many too. And it's the work and life of people who have given their lives to the service of others. There is absolutely no question about why I accepted. I mean, I could not not accept because um, I, I grew up in this area. This is my home. St. Anne is my home. This whole area, I'm familiar with this area. Yes. It is. It means a great deal to me. The young people of the area mean a great deal to me. The young people of the island mean a great deal to me. And whatever anyone is going to do that will facilitate their growth and development is important to me. And I've, and I've been doing an enormous amount of work the last year. Somebody up there likes me and I've been really busy. I think a lot of people like you. That's, yes. that's exactly what I said when I saw you. I said they must love Madge. Yes. And, and it makes you feel proud to be Jamaican. Oh, because that's me. That's who I am. You know, I'm Jamaican and I think that to, to try to be anything else would be foolish. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so proud to be Jamaican that I think anything I can do to tell anybody that I'm Jamaican, I'll do it. All right, you know, this is really great for us, you know, because a lot of times we hear so many negative things about our country. Yes. And when we see somebody like you, Madge, it gives us goose pimples. I'm oh, getting good. some right now. <laughs> That's good. I hear all the negative things, too. Yes. What, 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 you're going to be at this gala on the 18th, and yes. I think you're going on to another school to see some kids. When you yes. see children, what do you want to tell them? What, what comes to your mind? What almost? comes to my mind to... To, uh, to tell the young people is that the future belongs to you. Those of us who are grown and are older are passing on the baton to you. And it is your job to continue to help to do the things, some of the things we didn't do. Anything that is in the future is going to be of your making. You're the only one who can decide what kind of life you want and you just have to go ahead and do what you know is right. The, uh, the problem, I think, that is facing a lot of the young people today is that they seem to not have enough hope. They seem to think that there is nothing they can do. Things just seem to, seem to be getting out of hand for them, mm -hmm. and they seem to feel as though uh, there, is no, there is no hope for them. And my message to them is, there is hope. You are the ones who are making the hope. We are looking to you to pick it up and run with the ball. Right, I think I couldn't have chosen a better person to be patron for this garden parish grand gala because yes. this is your parish. This is my parish. When you were here as a little kid, what kind of, well let me say as a little child. Yes, as a little child, as a grown woman too. <laughs> you know, I grew up right around here. I was, I was, uh, I spent all of my vacation in Davistown, a little teeny village yes. not too far from here. Yes. I used to walk all those miles from Davistown to St. Anne's Bay. Mm. I used to walk right by this place when it was the Windsor Great House. And in those days, a little girl like me, with my skin color, you didn't come in here unless you worked here. I, I, w I grew up in the dark old ages, you see. And the kids today don't understand what a great opportunity they have. They have so many doors open to them today that were not open to me when I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. And the, I just think that to be here, to be a part of this, to try to get people to support this is a real privilege for me. Yeah. Thank you so much, Madge. Oh, this is my pleasure. Great pleasure. I'm going you. to be here, and I want everybody to be here, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this real quickly. One of yes. the nice things about this gala, I really want everybody to understand, is that these are a group, this is a group of people who have decided that the tourist industry is a part of the community, and as a part of the community, it should give back something to the community. And that this is one of the ways that we can, we can give back to the community that supported the industry all these years. That's what's really important to me about this.